This video is going to talk about percent applications and in order to solve these percent applications we're going to be using the PBR circle or the portion base rate circle. Now the circle is a is a method that allows us to do percent applications without thinking too hard about what operation we need to use but more can we identify the base, the portion, and the rate. And so the the circle looks like this where we have a large top section and two quarter sections I guess below and the top section is the portion the bottom left section would be the base and the bottom right section would be the rate now the rate is always a percentage the base is always your original amount or starting amount and the portion is kind of your ending or what you or a part of what you started with. Now the, there's a little misconception that the portion is always smaller than the base. That's not always true. Now with this circle there's a couple other things you want to note. This line right here is your dividing line. Okay, So if you have a number in your portion it would be divided by these numbers below it. And this line right here represents multiplying. So if you have your base and your rate you're going to end up multiplying those two numbers to find your portion, which is the top section. So let's take a look at this in action. So a pretty simple question is, what is 34% of 40? So in order to solve this, I'm going to first make my PBR circle. And I'll think about, okay, my portion goes on top, my base in the bottom left, my rate in the bottom right. Now when looking at this question, I see two numbers. I see 34% and I see 40. The 34 percent is the rate because all percentages are going to be your rate. But we don't write the rate in our circle as a percentage. We write it as a decimal. So 34 percent as a decimal would be 34 percent. We're going to move our decimal place two spaces to the left and make a decimal of 0 0.34. Now 40 represents the base because what we're finding is what is 34% a portion of a big of a number, 40 in this case. So 40 is going to represent our base number. Now when we look at this, what we don't have is a portion and that's what it's asking us. What is that section of 40? Now if you remember when we have these two bottom um, sections filled out, we're going to be multiplying those two numbers. So what is 40 times... 0.34. When you multiply this out, you find out that 40 times 0.34 equals 13.6. Now this question is also, we can also use a PBR circle for, but it's a little bit more involved than the previous one. It says, I withdrew $2,500 from my retirement fund, but had to pay 4% in taxes. How much money did I have to pay in taxes? So starting with my PBR circle, I need to figure out what information I have. And in this case, I have $2,500 that I withdrew from my retirement fund. So that would represent my base because I'm going to pay 4% in taxes on that, and then it wants to know how much money that is. So what I don't know is what is the dollar amount of that 4%. But I do know that I started with $2,500 and that I'm paying 4% in taxes. And remember, 4% can turn into a decimal by moving it over two spaces to the left, add a zero, drop the percent sign, and I have 0 0.04. So since that these, these two are both in the bottom boxes, I'm going to multiply them. So 2,500 times 0 0.04. And when I multiply that out, I get $100. So $100 is what I'll need to pay in taxes. That's the portion, 4%, the portion of $2,500. For the next question, it says, Of 900 college students surveyed, 540 do not eat breakfast. What percent of students eat breakfast? So we have a, a little trick question here where we're, it gives you the number who do not eat breakfast, but it wants to know the percentage that do eat breakfast. So when we draw our PBR circle, we're going to be finding the portion, base, rate. Well, actually, we're going to be finding the rate because we don't have a percentage anywhere in our problem. 
but we're actually not going to be using the portion that they give us. We don't want to use 540 because that's how many don't eat breakfast. We need to do a little bit of subtraction and do 900 minus 540 to find out how many do eat breakfast. And if I do that subtraction, that would give me 360. So 360 students do eat breakfast out of a total of 900. So what I'm going to do is do that division, 360 divided by 900. And when I'm, once I do that division, I end up with 0 0.4. Now 0 0.4 represents our percent, but that's the percent as a decimal. So what we need to do is move our decimal point over two places and add a percent sign and a zero. So it's actually 40% who do eat breakfast. In this question, it says 60% of public high schools in Michigan have a lacrosse team. If there are 327 public high schools with a lacrosse team, how many high schools are in the state? And this question is asking you for a base. So if we look at our PBR circle, we know the rate because it's 60%, and that's telling us that 60% is the 327. Well, our rate then is going to be 0.6 as a decimal. Our portion of the total number of high schools is 327 that have a lacrosse team. What we don't know is that missing piece that is the base. But remember, this is the division line, or the dividing line, so we're going to actually do some division. 327 divided by 0.6, and if you divide that out, you get 545, which represents our number of high schools in the state. So we'd say 545 high schools in Michigan.